Hello Captains and welcome to this X-Plane 10 video. X-Aviation uh, just released uh, SkyMax Pro version 3.1 and uh, I wanted to share with you the latest improvements and uh, features uh, that this uh, great plugin for X-Plane 10 brings to your flight simulator. Um, I've the immediate thing I've noticed is really the improvement in performance. Uh, I've got about five or six additional frames uh, with exactly the same settings. I haven't changed really anything in my X-Plane settings and uh, I notice that there is about uh, five or six uh, frames increase uh, which confirms the uh, basically the uh, the announcement by uh, X Aviation that uh, performance optimizations uh, have been brought into uh, this version of uh, SkyMax Pro. As you can see, the clouds look very, very nice, uh, very convincing. Uh, of course, I'm running everything in high resolution, um, so I'm using the max uh, settings available for the resolution of the clouds, and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's me go uh, to the 3D cockpit and uh, of course you are looking uh, at the uh, Airfoils Lab Cessna and this is by the way also version 1.52 uh, which was uh, released uh, March 31st I believe. Uh, there were two quick updates in quick, su in quick succession. Um, one was 1.51 uh, and then shortly uh, after that came uh, version 1.52. So let us go ahead and take a look at SkyMax Pro version 3.1 and what it has in terms of um, uh, improvements. Uh, so the first thing you will notice is now, thank you X Aviation, now you can actually see the number here, uh, whereas in the past, uh, these numbers were not there, so you kind of had to blindly move the slider. Uh, there were no presets really for you to uh, uh, to uh, kind of refer to. Uh, so it was pretty much trial and error, and once you're happy, you just hope that you don't accidentally change them. That is gone. And now you can actually set everything, and then you can export your settings. So if you click on export, you just say... Uh, for example, my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, settings, and then you save that, and voila, and then you can import the settings now from your, um, uh, you know, from your, uh, from the settings menu. So uh, this is uh, something. This is it's something really big. Uh, these numbers. Uh, I'm very, very happy that these numbers are now here. Of course, this is also a new feature where you know you can export and import your settings. Um, you will notice that this has now changed. Um, the puff rotation speed, uh, of course, is there, but now you see there's fast, soft, and crisp. And this refers really to the resolution uh, of, the, um, of the clouds, of the puff, uh, puff clouds. Uh, so r crisp means the highest resolution, basically. Uh, I don't have this enabled, so I it's it's always been off, so I will leave it off. Uh, but you have the uh, uh, where we are here. So I'll use version two and apply. And what else is there that I can share with you? Again, here there is uh, uh, there is definitely the uh, the uh, uh, the number there. So 1000 is the maximum which I like to uh, kind of run SkyMax Pro at this uh, at this rating or at this setting. Uh, but actually it, it will improve performance quite a bit if you uh, uh, if you decrease this. Um, everything else the same um, but let me tell you that I'm really impressed with uh, how performance has been improved in this version. Okay, folks, so uh, let's go ahead and start uh, this beautiful Cessna and let's do a quick flight here to see, uh, you know, how the clouds behave. All right, so let's get things here. Let's just say 
um, prepare for start. All right. Yes, that will take care of that. All right. And let's see here. Batteries on. Push this all the way in. Fuel. Yep, that's fine. And... Alright. Have yeah, a good start on the engine. Very well. Some lights. Okay, and avionics. Alright, so the radios are on. Everything looks okay. Alright, so let's release the parking brake. Yeah, we are on the right. Good stuff. Okay, folks, uh, we are lined up for the runway. Let's go ahead and give it full power. knots and rotate. Very nice indeed. Again with the, the real Terra Haze uh, SkyMax Pro and the NOAA weather plugin, uh, I think all three just make uh, the experience in X Plane uh, absolutely incredible. It feels very, very realistic flying in the X Plane world. Very nice indeed. Feels very, very convincing. Very nice. Alright, let me reduce power a bit here. Look at those clouds. Wow. Looks very, very nice. Very convincing. Very crisp. Okay, let me make a turn here. Look at the uh, look at the lights in the distance. Looks amazing. Very very nice. Very smooth. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a foggy day. I'm just looking for some clouds here to go through them. I think I found some clouds here. There we go. Some clouds there. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Let me tell you, it feels so great flying in X plane now with SkyMax Pro version 3.1. Absolutely incredible. Very, very nice indeed. Alright, let me display the... Uh, let me display the frames, uh, just so that, uh, you know... Okay, I'm getting about 30, 38, 37, something like that, uh, which is very good. Uh, considering that we're entering into the cloud now, as you can see. That is very, very nice. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Just really amazing.
Very nice indeed. Very smooth. This is one thing I really adore in X-Plane, is how smooth it is. Of course, being a 64-bit uh, application, it uh, uses uh, just about all the resources uh, that it can use. Absolutely incredible. Okay, let me switch to external view uh, to see how things look from the outside. There we go. Welcome back, captains, uh, to the uh, cockpit of this beautiful Cessna. Uh, one thing I also notice is that when, during the intervals, uh, when the uh, you know when the weather gets loaded, uh, it used to cause you know short pauses, uh, and that has been also improved. It's not entirely gone, so I can feel a, a very kind of short pause. Um, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Oh my god, look at that view. It just looks absolutely stunning. You know, look at the, uh, you know, the fog, how it's covering this area here, with the clouds, sky colors, everything is just absolutely gorgeous. Guys, if you don't have Sky Max Pro version 3, uh, please go ahead and get it, because it's a really it's a game changer for X-Plane, for sure. Uh, very, very nice, very convincing. And now, with major improvements in performance, it will really create an experience that is unmatched, in my opinion, to date. Very, very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Look at that. Just, It just looks very, very realistic. Very realistic. Okay, folks, I think uh, you've gotten the idea. Uh, as you can see, we are approaching this uh, area of dense clouds here. Uh, our performance is still unaffected. Look at that. Uh, it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn back and head back to the airport and land. Uh, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm probably going to spend the whole day flying... Um, flying in the X-Plane world. Uh, I'm very pleased with the performance. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I think really uh, it, this is something that we all have been looking for. The greatness of SkyMax Pro version 3 um, minus the big performance hit that many of you suffered from um, in the past. That is all now a relic of the past. Amazing. Very nice indeed. Frames are good. Alright folks, uh, let's go ahead and head to the airport. Okay folks, so uh, we are now um, about 3-4 uh, nautical miles from the airport. So let's go ahead and reduce speed. Extend the laps. And by the way, the Airfoil's uh, lap Cessna 172 version 1.52, you have to absolutely get it. It's got a lot of improvements. I'll probably do a uh, full flight um, in the coming days uh, with the Cessna 172. Uh, but if you haven't uh, gotten uh, uh, version 1.52, go ahead and grab it. It's got all kinds of features and also uh, it has received uh, some improvements in terms some optimizations in terms of the uh, you know the polygon model I guess or something like that um, and I can report that also the performance of the 172 
has been improved um, over previous versions. Uh, in fact, Air Force Lab Cessna, uh, the makers, or Air Force Labs, um, claim that this is probably the, uh, the best version uh, that they've created in terms of performance. So uh, don't miss it. Uh, go ahead and uh, grab it um, if you haven't already done so. Here we go. And flaps full. Alright, and touchdown. Alright folks, uh, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you today. The, uh, the new changes in Sky Max Pro version 3.1. Uh, highly recommended if you don't have it. Uh, go ahead and grab it because it's absolutely awesome. Until uh, next time, uh, please take care of yourselves and each other. Thank you so very much for watching this video and bye bye for now.